Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another Tarmac Works Diecast review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Ben Walsh Racing Toyota Helix from the 2018 Super Ute Series. Now, I picked this up for my friends over at Surplus Goodies. If you're interested in picking this up for your collection, I'll link it in the video description below. Alright, before we get to the diecast itself, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging. It comes in your standard uh, Tarmac Works slip sleeve packaging. Got Tarmac, Ben Walsh Racing, Toyota Helix Super Ute Series 2018. Got the Toyota Helix featured nicely on its base. Inside it's included a uh, acrylic cover. This is part of the Hobby 64 line. It is open-ended so you can see the front, rear, top, and left side of the vehicle. So there you go. The back features Tarmac Works. Of course, one Hong Kong dollar per car goes to Tarmac for the good. And then on the bottom of the packaging here, we have all your relevant legal information for Tarmac Works, as well as all their social media handles. So be sure to follow them on Facebook and Instagram. All right, go ahead and remove it from the slip sleeve. As I mentioned, you got a little decoration in the back as well to replicate the track. So the packaging is really fantastic with the uh, Tarmac Works. You do get a certificate of authenticity. So here you go. Mine is number 944 of who knows exactly how many were made. So feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read that. You got chassis number right there. Back of the certificate features Tarmac Works and once again, their social media handles and website. Packaging, once again, you got the truck on its base inside the acrylic cover. Go ahead and try to remove that. There you go. It does come with a bed cover. Go ahead and try to remove that real quick. It's just a plastic uh, bed cover. We'll go ahead and take a look at it real quick here. We do have JSW Power Sports. And car city on it as i mentioned it's just plastic you got some uh plug-in points right there that probably just for uh friction fits onto the model but we'll take a look at that here shortly on the base we have tarmac toyota helix super Ute series 2018 of course right here ben walsh racing we'll start here on the hood we have car city of course on the window banner we have ecb east coast builder or bull bars Number eight, you got the detailed roll cage inside. Of course, right-hand drive, being that it's an Australian racing series. Got Walsh on the eight on the side window there. Got more logos, Car City. And everything up on the roof there. Got Os Blue on the bottom of the window manor. Got inserted details for your headlights with some sponsorship logo on it. Yokohama. Car City all on the bottom of the nose there. Really nice detail here on the wheel and tires. Got Primera on the fender. Of course, ECB logo below the mirrors with Car City on the actual mirrors. You have silver details for the lenses on the mirrors. Car City going down the whole side of the truck. Silver painted details for the door handle. Got more uh, logos down on the rocker panel. Fat Freddy's on the side of the bed, JSW on the side, Yokohama and more logos down there. Got red center on the wheel back here on the right rear, or left rear, excuse me. Back here, we got opposite lock on the rear window banner. Got really nice detail for your interior of the bed. Back here on the tailgate, we have Car City, opposite lock. And more logos, inserted details for your tail lights. Let's go ahead and get that bed cover and everything and try to get it fastened on or whatever. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just going to, it's not, actually, it does actually securely snap on there, which is surprising. Got some logos on the, you know, edge of it there, Ben Walsh. It looks fantastic with the bed cover. I mean, and I'm really surprised that it's not like just a loose fit, but that's inc that's pretty awesome. Got k in on the back bumper here as well. It's again, inserted details for your taillights. The driver's side of the truck is basically the same. Both the rear tires have the red center, black on the front there. All the logos are the same on both sides, so no major differences. Got Miss Money Pennies on the roof as well. Got the antenna, so be careful, that might be a little fragile. So yeah, it's a solid release. It's held in by one screw 
you got the QC2 uh, sticker there. So yeah, it's something I'm going to leave on the base like most of my tarmac works. The Global 64s are no problem, but it, once you get to things with uh, bases, I leave them on there because they're more fragile parts. But overall, it's a solid release I picked up from my friends over at uh, Surplus Goodies. If you're interested in picking it up, I'll link it in the video description below. So yeah, that is my review of the Ben Walsh Racing number 8 Toyota Helix from the 2018 ECB Super Ute Series. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrain69. See you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.